following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 66. You got the Nasdaq up 13. S&Ps are up 4. Gold's trading up 540 at 1278. We have the uh, silver market up three cents, sixteen dollars eighty-two cents. Platinum is up uh, six bucks, nine forty-six. Light sweet crude down seventy-one cents, forty-nine dollars forty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, uh, ten-year note up three ticks, one twenty-six even. The thirty-year bond up thirteen, one fifty-three twelve. And king dollar, king dollar is no love, and king dollar hasn't been any love for like six months. King dollar is down thirty-eight ticks. 92.680. It broke the consolidation it's been in for 30 months. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we'll see where this baby's going to shake. The euro is trading at 118 uh, to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 110 to the U.S. dollar. We got Apple earnings That's at right. 430. They saved almost the best for last. Why it's, not? It's all about Apple at 430. It's about window dressing. And it's about Kevin Hinks from TD Let's Ameritrade. Think or swim. And folks, if you haven't test if you haven't listened to Kevin or Scott yet, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, no matter where you're listening, if you're going down the West Coast right now, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, you're drinking your coffee, grooving, guess what? At 9 o'clock in the morning, 12 noon uh, Eastern Time, Jump on your cell phone, go to tfnn.com, just hit Tiger TV. You want to understand options upside down. TD Ameritrade, Kevin Hinks, Scott Connolly have an amazing show. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everybody doing? Well, doing good. We're, we're, we're ready to take a bite out of Apple. There you go. It's all about <laughs> Apple today. It's all about <laughs> Apple, no doubt. And Yeah, they're going to do some big volume trading in there. We, you know, we'll see what the market maker move gets up to. As we sit here right now at uh, 10 o'clock, your time, the move is about 470. Really? The one day move in Apple. Yeah, they're looking for about a four dollar and seventy cent move. Now that Oh only four dollars and seventy cents, not even four percent. That's nothing. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. four seventy. That that's relatively remember though, something. Number one, it's July. Yeah. No, no number two, Apple, you know, when you get so much order flow right. in the in a name like Apple, that that market maker move, that one day move gets pretty efficient. Yeah, right. And you know, and so with that compiled, you know, along with the the summer months, a summer trade yep. may be a little bit light. So you know, it'll be interesting to see. I like to trade the summer months because I think you get more outliers. Yeah. Well, you know what's cool is that you know I'm looking at it, I'm saying to myself, you know, I mean that can hit 155 after the, the close in a second. I mean, and that's sure. only uh, that's only six bucks up. Right, and then the but consolidation the on the on the on the, on the downside is so wild. The, the lowest last hit is one forty two, so there's six bucks on the other side too. Sure. So right. like, one fifty six sixty five is the all time high in Apple. Yeah, yeah. So so you got that to and that's buy, game you know, to deal with. Yeah, that's five game. Bucks. Right, right, right. So I mean, it's going to be great. It's going to be great trade. Obviously, our show is going to focus on Apple today and earnings. We're going to talk a little bit about Under Armour, but. Really, guys, if you ask me, the macroeconomic trade of this spring and summer has been the dollar. Oh, my you, God. You talk about it, you know, so much, Tom, and, and you're right to talk about it so much because you look at what's happening to oil. You look what's happening to gold. You know, where would oil be trading if the dollar was where it was five months ago? I know. It's been down for five straight months. It has, man. Where would, where would oil and all these commodities be trading? That's an interesting question to have. It is. And, you know... A longer, I'm still kind of, I'm still bearish in the dollar, but I said to Tommy this morning, when I just looked at it, I said, I went long the dollar this morning. It's like, okay, man, that, that trade's not going to work. I had to roll my eyes <laughs> I know. as I came in, you know, but I... <laughs> well, because, you know what, it, the markets are all about energy, man, and it's like, okay, this energy, it, to me, the energy, uh, it's stopping slightly. I mean, I, I know it's been a disaster, and I expect it to be a disaster, but things can only get down for so long and up for so long, do you know what I mean? So it's like... Yeah, 
you know, talking about being bearish in in the dollar, but being long it short term. Yeah, it's like it's like dating, right? It's miss right and it's miss right now. Right? <laughs> totally, and, that's right. So that's even right. though you're bearish, short term you may be bullish. Yeah, right. right. No, that's what right. you do, right? right. No. That, that's right. that's where that's where my head's at. You know why? Particularly, Kevin, because the you know the metal has moved, but the metal stocks haven't moved, man. Do you know what I mean? They right. move, but not like they normally move. I say, you know what, man? This this thing is. There's something laying out here that'll get this thing a little bounce going, and hey, we'll see. It's not the end of the world. Right. You know, but. Right. Hey, I mean, small trades, believe me, right. I've had long deltas in, in bearish you know, opinions and long deltas because, you know, because you're, you're, you're trading the ebb, ebb and flow. Right, exactly, exactly, you know, so. It, 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 it's, it's who we are, Tom, we're trading. <laughs> yeah, exactly, there's no doubt. And, and you know, I, between, the, what's going to get intriguing to me is that, you know, you get the window dressing, we know that it's slow in the summer, you know, and it seems that, you know, the big stocks, the big industrial stocks, I mean, they've been just driving that down. It's like, you know what? Apple's an animal out there anyways, you know what I mean? It's like they, they could have something up their sleeve and just it just pops and they want to buy everything. So we'll right. find out. You know, Tom, there, there's a lot of stories about Apple. It's like choose your favorite story here. Are people looking past these earnings and looking for the iPhone 8, right? Are Tommy is. Kind of, I am. Yeah, get right. The, yeah. Right. There's a lot of people doing that, Tommy, so you're yeah. not you're not yeah. alone. Yeah, I bet. That. Right. I bet. You know, yeah. and, and that's going to be big money, man. <laughs> it's I think it's bigger than usual this time. We were talking I, about it yeah. yesterday, Kevin, you know, just saying that it's 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 a revolutionary new iPhone. Right. Whereas there's right. been this five, six, seven where it's not sure. quite the yeah. the same motivation right. to hold off. This time we'll see. This iPhone 8. Yeah. I heard if you buy an iPhone 8, you're just going to make money hand over fish in the option market. They're going to include a new <laughs> car. If you get, yeah, exactly. Well, you're going to have to if you're going to pay exactly. that money. Exactly. Totally. Right here at 12 noon, folks. Go to TFNN.com. Hit Tiger TV. Kevin, have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. Have Thanks, a great Kevin. Day. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers so on a that? daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information yeah. that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just right. one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now up 69. You get the Nasdaq up 11. S&Ps are up four. Uh, bottom line, folks, August 1st. August are, is here. August is here already. Right. So we've been talking about it. We got a good giveaway going on at our Facebook page. All the action at the Facebook page for the giveaway. Yeah. So we're promoting it on the face on the Facebook front page of TFNN right now. And the game is to guess where the market's going to close at, okay? We're going to play with a few different markets varying on the days. Today, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay. So you got to tell us, you got to tell everybody uh, where you think the Dow Jones Industrial Average is going to close, yep. 4 o'clock. Right. You have till 3.30 till get, to okay. guess. Uh, and again, it all takes place at the Facebook page, okay? At our Facebook page. So you need a Facebook account. Yeah. Most people have them. If you right. don't, you can sign up for one, but you need a Facebook account because your guess has to be in the comment of that post. So I'm just going slow, you know, that yeah. way people understand. So today's prizes, first place, a month subscription to your daily newsletter, Market Insights. Second place, uh, your book, The Art of Timing the Trade. We'll send that out to whoever yeah. wins. Third place, Thinkorswim Mousepad, send that out. Yeah. And a random drawing of all the people that guess for a copy of the U.S. Constitution, Declaration of Independence, we'll okay. send that out. So. You can get to our Facebook page by just searching for TFNN on Facebook, but right. right here we've got it. So this, you just click that link, it brings you over. Okay. Um, so most of the time people are signed in. This is just a page if you're not signed in, but here's the post, okay? So this is what we wrote this morning. Today we start the Guess the Close giveaway. Playing is simple. You have to like this post below, okay? Yep. So you'd like it. We got okay. some likes in there already, including okay. Tom O'Brien. There you go. Okay. And then post your answer in the comments section, okay? And you're yep. officially entered to win. Today, you need to post your prediction on where the Dow Jones Industrial Average will close. You have until 3.30 p.m. to submit and be eligible for one of those four great prizes we okay, talked cool. about. And one guess per person, get guessing. So right in here, you'll see, and we got three comments there. Okay. Let's see, we haven't even checked. Let's see if we can see, can we? You, I think you might need to be logged in. That's what I was thinking I to okay. click on. But you can see there's guesses already, there's likes. So it's that simple, okay? So every day, we're going to post something okay, at cool. about the market open. Yep. It, it's going to be either the Dow, NASDAQ, or S&P. Right. Nice and simple, okay, right. that way. And um, as well, when we're doing this, we'll have the results up. We'll announce it at least by the next day. We're going to see, depending right. on how many guesses we get, right, how Probably close the, people the, are. The show in the morning can announce it, right? Yeah. At the latest. That's yeah, what I was saying. Right. I mean, there's a chance we might have it by the afternoon, though. Right. We'll, you know, okay. we'll see how, right. as this comes down, we'll see how many comments we get. So uh, get over there. Like the, like the post. Post a comment. Where do you think that market is going to close? And we'll announce those winners. It'll be fun. So those are the prizes for tomorrow, of course. Uh, for today. Uh, today. Thank yeah. you. And uh, every day we're going to update this. So we'll have them. You can check back in a number of different prizes. Everybody's newsletter services. We're going to give away the charts. We're going to give away Larry's book, Larry's newsletter, Andy Hack, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Good. Um, good stuff. And then right on the bottom, we'll have the results page as well. So you can check back, see the winners every day, see where that market closed, okay. see how close people were maybe to right. the uh, to the number. So we'll be there. Should be a good time. Check cool. it out. Right on the front page and then over to our Facebook page. Nice. Yeah. So uh, let's go take a look at, uh, ooh, where is the, yeah, so finally the, the, the GDX is getting something. Let's see what we got here. So the GDX is in confirmed ABC up. Okay, she's going to go again. Uh, GDX is up 19 cents right now. You're at uh, 2305. Um, last high was 2306. Yeah, this baby's going to go. Uh, 2386 is the number. So if we go take a look at that, that number mean the next the swing point. Uh, Barrick Gold, yeah, it's, it's getting some juice underneath it. So Barrick just overtook its high yeah. uh, of 1712. Now, what you do have out here today, let me see where there's a lot of equities coming out with uh, numbers out here today. Okay, for the gold? Yeah. Um, the gold dead yeah, industry. Yeah, that's the 17th. Let's see. Uh, AEM already came out, I think. Or is it Royal Gold? Royal's the 8th, I think. Um, RGLD. Yeah, it's the 10th. Okay. Um, let's go into the 
Look at that. I mean, that's interesting. Oh, so, up with that open. Yeah, that <laughs> that actually, this is intriguing, folks. So at Royal Gold, it's actually kind of dangerous. Open at 84.28. Yeah. Three dollars almost from where we're at. Right. And now this would be a last engulfing, which actually you don't want to see. That's a bearish deal. And it just fi is finishing up an ABC up too. Uh, and that's been the strongest gold stock out there because this is pretty cool uh, as to it's going after it's uh, 2011 highs, 100.84, you know. Does it matter if that last engulfing, which I got is a bullish or bearish candle? Yeah, this this is what's so, conf it's not that it's so confusing about council charting, uh, candlestick charting when you, you do it. That's exactly how it has to look. It has to look like a bullish, okay. meaning it starts lower, right? Sure. It finishes at the high. And what happens is this, is that that's the same type of candle that in the, in the low, that's a bullish engulfing, which is positive. At the high, after a big uptrend, that's a last engulfing, which is bearish. Okay. You know, now what has to happen, it's a two candle setup, meaning that this happens and then the, the following day, in order for that to be confirmed, you just have to be a tick underneath that. Okay. You know, but it's pretty, it's, the, the, the cool thing about it is that it does look so bullish. Do you know what I mean? Sure. I remember when I was first, you know, what is the, the nuance there, though, is it has to open underneath it, which is like, is that bullish, right? That's where you... Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So why did it open it, underneath exactly. it if it was so it, bullish? Yeah. Exactly. That's probably where, at least um, the fundamental no, take on that That's right. That's right. Where that's, it's like, ah, oh, it wasn't as bullish as it might be. There's a know. seller there. Right. There's, there's, where it's like, right. market open, it went up, but right. pre-market... Yeah. Um, yeah. As opposed to just a gangbuster earnings, like right? open higher, right. trade higher, right. that's like pure right. strength versus, right. yeah. When, when I was first doing these ABC structures, what happens, folks, is that an ABC up or an ABC down, well, let's, if we talk about an ABC up, what happens is that when there's so many of them and they're like halfway done, the market looks so bullish, but that's almost like really dangerous because once they finish, like they've, they've got all their juice and it's, sure. like, and it's like, oh, baby, you know, sure. you know, what can happen after that? Sure. So. Uh, let's go take a look at the Dow Industrials and see. I think we're getting a little bit of a pullback here as, as yeah, the I just, NASDAQ I just, just pulled I, back. I just um, saw that NASDAQ, right. And the Dow, the high was 21,988. Yeah, You're at uh, 947. Yeah, so 40 points. Um, inside the Dow, the leader out here today is Goldman. That's up, putting 15 positive points. Chevron's putting nine. 3M's putting seven. Taken away from it, no, nothing big really. No. Pfizer, two. Often, McDonald's, one. Nothing down more than 30 cents yeah. in their own stock. Inside the... Uh, NDX 100, the leader out here. Norwegian Cruise, huh? Norwegian Cruise, yeah, up 3%. Micron Tech up 2. Uh, that's IDEX Pharmaceutical. IDEX Labs, that's getting hit. That's down 5%. Yeah, they must have had earnings too. Oh, look at this. This is all, uh, this is Biotechs. Yeah. Uh, INCY down 3.7. Regeneron down 3. Can we look I at Norwegian? Or go ahead, you yeah. can go to IDEX first. Yeah. Sure. You, you know, the only re reason I want to go to IDEX. So, I remember this company so well because what happens, folks, I see the, where it I is. I was just saying that, okay, cool, Maine. You, you, you might remember this guy uh, when we were in Weston. Okay. Uh, Dave, that had the big blueberry farm in Weston. Okay. Um, it started right where they had the blueberry farm. So okay. I knew him and a couple other guys that actually had this. You want to see something crazy? This is, this, now this is years ago, folks. This is where I'm just going back 20 years. Yeah. But I want to show you something. This stock was like a $3 stock. Okay. And they were they were saying how great it was going to be. Yeah, and even even yeah, I was going to say it's I, the beginning of that chart. That's right pretty there, sick that I got to go back that far. But I remember it was 1994, 95. Well, actually, eight, right eight dollars. Yeah, 95. It was doing well at that time too. No, it was four to eight, right? Yeah. No, no, no. It was it was it was a big deal, and that was and and it came particularly so, up in Maine. You don't have a lot of companies in Maine. It went from 12 and 96 all the way down to four in 97. Yeah. Then up to 160. No, well, 20 years later though. Yeah. Yeah, stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up 62. You get the NASDAQ up two. S&Ps are up two. Let's go to our man, Tom in Plymouth. What's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, Tommy and Tom. How are you? Good morning, Tom. Great, man. Yourself? Doing good, thank you. Yeah? What are you doing? <laughs> well, you know, I kind of stepped into the danger zone, I think, a little bit today. Danger zone. The um, danger zone. I like it. Yeah. This you gas. I'm wondering what you think about this. I was looking at the UNG, and I'm wondering if that is actually testing the February um, of 2016 lows. Okay, so let, let's, let's take a look at it. He's looking at the Velocity uh, Daily three times long natural gas ETN, uh, and the the gas futures yesterday, folks. Uh, the reason that he's saying he's looking uh, danger zone. into the danger zone, just as I'm looking at the danger zone going long the dollar. I shot the, I'm actually I'm actually shot the euro, not long the Same dollar, but no, yeah, right. right. Um, uh, is that yesterday uh, this natural gas contract went south in a huge way? Uh, you know, that, now that being said, uh, we're at 279 and 278 was the low yesterday, so it's rejected it. It has light of volume right now. Um, it's guaranteed light of volume after that volume yesterday. Yeah, not which, guaranteed, but that's quite no, a day but that's, yesterday that's, it's coming into, that's, for That's sure. what you're looking for, okay? So now let's go to the UNG, which is the ETF structure for the you know natural gas contract. Yes. That's trading 628, and that's rejected low. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay. Again, huge volume in that yesterday, right? Yep. And so that's rejected million. lower price. We're at 633. Man, if you ever could get back inside 633, you'd have a little rocket chip on your hands. One second. Okay, so look at that right there. Yeah, yeah hey, listen, man. 1010. That's 1010. So the 1010, you're going to buy it. Here, let me let me see this. i got to see this for a second. 2.5 million be, shares. There it, there it is. is. Someone bought 2 million shares at 12 past 10 this morning, you know. 
Well, that wasn't me, but... Why not? I won, Must, don't I bet, be I, shy, I, Tom. I, I bet, Come on. I bet, I bet it was your wife. <laughs> I bought a few, but I didn't buy that many. Okay, so now let's go to you, uh, GAZ, because what's happening, folks, is that the correlation there um, is direct uh, in, on both of those. Hey, listen, man. Yeah, I would... You know, for day trade, I mean, that's going to be a day trade, right? There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you're, you're at 1066. If you stay inside 1047, man, your next stop is 1120. 1120 is the low of, uh, what's that, the 5th of July? Yes. So, so when you trade these, Tom, so, would you ever stay in that for, like, inventory on Thursday, or is this just a day trade? Well, I was thinking about that, you yeah. know, waiting till, till inventory. But, you know, if I make a little bit of money on it, I'd probably jump out. But, sure. you know, I don't know. I... I see some, um, you know, uh, potential here, but well, there, might, so, hang. so watch this. I mean, when you, when you start it off like it's a day trade anyway, if it's going right with you, there's no reason. I mean, if this so shows some strength today, you know, you're going to have some action. Um, I can tell you from, so check out, folks, what happened in where we live in Tampa last night, uh, yesterday morning. Now, this is really unusual. And what happened is that, most of the time when, when storms come into the Gulf, right, everyone knows about them. You know about them a good two or three days early, right? It's, and I, I, you know, yesterday what ended up happening is that I'm on my way to work, and all of a sudden I'm looking at St. Pete, and St. Pete's getting flooded down at the beach. I'm saying okay. to myself, and, we're, and there's nothing wrong, and we're not that far away from St. Pete, right? I mean, and not, everything's cool here. I go to CNN, and on the headlines of CNN, is saying Emily is slamming Tampa. And I'm saying, wow, this is really weird, man. So I called Bill, one of our supervisors down there. He says, yeah, it's a madhouse down here. Well, I read about the whole story this morning. So check this out. This is very unusual. They, the last time that this happened was like years ago. That a storm developed overnight last night inside the Gulf. And, and you're saying last night, like Sunday night. Sunday right? night. Into Monday. I'm yeah. Just and it developed within like four or five hours. Okay. It's interesting. I hadn't heard about it all either. Yeah, and, and bang, Al all was, of a sudden yeah. it's 45 to 55 mile right. an hour winds. It's coming in. Now the reason I'm bringing this up is because of natural gas. Sure. Yeah. Because we're in this area, you know, from now until like October, that is always a little bit dangerous. And they always accelerate in terms of, you think the summer's over, but that's when the water's the warmest. And yeah. really, when the summer actually might be over, it is, that's when the waters are still so warm. It is. You know, late September, you, you can know. get uh, some action and, still, and, let alone late and August. And this is a, this, you know, it wasn't a dangerous storm here. And they said that, that the storm it, itself was only 150 miles, which is okay. very small. And it missed us still. Right, I mean, right. we got the gray skies that yeah. you get, you know, with marginal you know, rain, but nothing, yeah. You know, but, you know... In that context, risk Tom, reward wise, you're saying I think that's good to have yeah, on your side, right? On, yeah, on that it, it doesn't it doesn't take much, you yeah. know, to basically, you oh, know, for sure. it, come let up. alone ever getting a real storm that tore through the oh, Gulf and tore everything forget up. Forget it, man. Yeah. Forget it. So hey, I think you, you know, you probably get some action here. Um, yeah, I'll stay, I'll stay with it and we'll see what happens. Just move the stop up a little bit because I know this thing is very volatile. I mean, I haven't had a, a whole lot of success with it in the past, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. Cooking, brother. All right, guys, take care. Thanks, Have a great Tom. one, man. Have a safe one. Have a good one. day. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here today. Um, we have uh, Ford's uh, down 31 cents. You got uh, Sprint up uh, 80 cents. Look at it. Sprint's they came up. in with good earnings. Yeah, up 10%. That's a big number, man. Yeah. Can you click on that? Well, you can jump around. Yeah. I, I, I was just curious, the fundamental with their earnings there. And I think they might have even lost a little subscribers, but it's profitability was their big thing, I believe, that they're playing off. Let's see, which one do I want to do? That one. Yeah, earnings. Sweet. Yeah, here it is. So the estimate was, uh, well, EBITDA, the estimate was $2.7 billion. They made yeah. $2.85. Yeah. Uh, net change, the estimate was plus 127000 but they lost 39000 I think 000. that's their subscribers. So that's yeah. what's interesting. I mean, you know, yeah. earnings are great, but declining companies are not usually what pops a stock right. but you know what i mean the fundamental nature maybe a company like this that was trading under eight dollars yeah guess what maybe making money is actually crucial to their survival yeah versus right. just burning cash for growth right i they know they they get some so look at that uh, this Where is pretty wild the operating income was 2.1 million to two point oh, for the year i see i was going to say wow how did you just go from 2.8 ebitda in one quarter to sure. making 2.1 billion well sure. they're making money man so they boost the low end of prior adjusted view for yeah. earnings, um, boost the low end for operating income, sees a year adjusted earnings 
about 11 billion affirms year cash capital expenditures, reaffirms cash capbacks. Maybe those are big deals there. You know, some yeah. of these things could be huge when you're dealing with a stock under eight dollars that's struggling to even compete in their own marketplace. Yeah. Um, but man, they were looking for 127,000 new subscribers. They lost 40,000, and the stock jumps 10 percent. But they beat on earnings, we'll see. Well, and what's intriguing there is that the other phone companies that come out, they all accelerated, so they took away from them. They must have, yeah. that's a, you know, you know, it's like, that's not a shrinking industry. Right, you well, know, look at, of... I mean, Verizon, they weren't expecting Verizon, Okay. Uh, and when Verizon came out, that Verizon, go. their subscription, their subscribers went up dramatically. Okay. And you can see, yeah. Verizon had closed at $44, next day it trades up to 47 that's yep. just that's keeps pretty going up to four. That's pretty intense for a, a stock that has uh, what is that four billion shares? Yes. How they right? You got it. That's that's not an easy stock to move. Two hundred billion dollar company. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up seventy three. Nasdaq is up seven. S and P's are up two and a half. Don't forget, folks. Go over to Facebook, like us, uh, put that number in for the close of Where's the Dow close? Industrial. Where's it going to close? Where's it going to close, baby? Where's it going to close? We're going to be right highs. back. That's a yeah, new highs, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow right now up 66. NASDAQ is up 8. S&Ps are up 2. And, folks, if you haven't uh, 
uh, test drove the uh, Nadex platform yet, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. You can bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And you can follow along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. And, um, you know, we were talking about the dollar yesterday. Yeah, you um, let the cat out of the bag. They already know what's going on. Right. But yeah, so you are sold the euro. I sold the euro. You're getting a little action on your way right now. Yeah. Which would be bullish the dollar, right? And so that's where you're just going counter trend like we kind of talked about. I am. And so let's just check it out. So it looks like about 8.15 this morning you yeah. were in there. You're dealing with the 115.90 to 118.40 spread. And it looks like you sold them at about 118. Right? right, so one eighteen oh four, probably thirty six ticks away from that high of one eighteen forty, one eighteen oh four. So 30, 30, 35 bucks a contract. That's it. So it'd be yeah. thirty six exactly. That's right. Like the, right. That's why I was wide. The thirty six. Which, which is uh, and pretty you got a couple cool. Contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Which you know the risk versus the reward inside this, these currencies, folks. You know. Uh, well, it's just they're, a, they're all relative. I, I mean, was just going to put it's actually right. right back almost rear. Your only loss right now is the spread. So it's actually right. convenient. It's literally 1804 is where you sold it. So this yep. is perfect. Where you had sold it, you got two in there. Yep. But that's where, so you're risking the 36, which is up to 118. Uh, 40 yeah and then your profit potential is down to that 115 90 yeah and so you know you're 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 capped you're capped at basically those 36 ticks of, of risk and yeah. you got until three o'clock which and um, you know I mean you if can there's see a if there's a counter trend this, bounce the thing that's cool here folks if there's a counter trend bounce in this, the dollar you're talking about yeah because right? that would be, it would be a this counter risk versus the reward is a nice one man well, I you mean see, I mean even in the last uh, we've fallen you know we're we're yeah. approaching 118.05 down from 118.35. Right. That's a good 30 ticks in the last, you know, 20 right. minutes alone. Right. And not slowing down. We'll see. And you get you get a long period of time. Yeah. And the reward reward on the other side is a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. You know. So, definitely. Um, you know, we'll see where where, where it's going to shake out. But uh, you know, Apple today. So what time are their earnings at? Is 4 it 4 30. 4 Yeah. So okay. And the reason Glad we Tommy into it. the reason Tommy brought that up, folks, has to do with. Uh, a volatility trade inside the NQs sure. at four o'clock. Yeah. Okay, so Apple won't work because Apple's going to come out at four thirty, and at four thirty, this you know they're not going to move the NDX. They're going to move that NDX as soon as it opens back up. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and so we'll see where that uh, baby wants to shoot out. What's so intriguing about Apple is that. Uh, as Kevin said, the, the move was four and a half dollars. Yeah, not which much. is like minimum. Not much, right? Definitely. Right. And I was just jumping around. So the ones that would be open if you wanted to get in there are the weekly binaries. Oh yeah, you know, which okay. have that exposure. So right. right now we're looking at the Nasdaq 100 September contract, trading at 58.90, um, and here's the axes on the right side with some of those binary options. And let's see if we can open this up a little bit more. Just out of curiosity, what kind of prices are we looking at? And there's going to be, maybe even just looking at it right here. So 58.90, here's kind of our midpoint of 58.86, okay? So that's yep. where we're trading by 44 by 59. That's oscillating. That's kind of the market. So there's even, um, now these are the dailies. No, these are the weeklies. Yeah, so even on the weeklies, I mean, that's, there's, you're paying some some premium yeah. here on these, you know, as you right. glance up. So we're talking about let's just randomly we're choosing fifty nine fifty eight right here. Okay? okay, that's a good seventy points up from where we're at right now. Trading eleven by twenty six. I mean, there's a lot of volatility yeah. in these right now, and the spreads are, are large because of that as well. Wow. The bid offer spreads are fifteen right now, eleven by twenty six. That's pretty wild, man. That's well, that's a wide one. You know? So you know what's cool? We'll look at this tomorrow morning after they come out the numbers sure. and see if that premium yeah. gets crushed. Again, these are the weeklies. Right? You know, yeah. that's so you always want to be aware of these spreads. You know, if if you're trading the binaries, because if you wanted to buy this binary to trade above 59, to close, excuse me, above 59.58, end of the week, right? Yeah. You'd be paying the 26.75, but be aware that the market maker's only willing to pay 11.75. Right. That's a huge, market maker's willing to risk one to make nine. Right. Versus you're risking one to make three. Right. It's huge, so you yeah. always want to be aware of that. And that probably has to do with the type of volatility right. that's coming in that they, with they, Apple at 4.30. Right. Right. And, you know, what the, the NASDAQ in general has had some volatility in itself oh, as yeah. well with those right. other tech stocks. Right. And out of curiosity, let's see what the daily squares up to look like. So daily-wise, yeah, still large spreads, right? And, and, and so they're looking, that's, that's a tough market for them to peg right now with the volatility on right. a daily basis with that bid offer. 
Um, it's all about Apple. It is. And so the NQs, that's for sure. Because Apple's the last major stock, folks, that can move the NQ around. That's, you know. And it's, I mean, it's the biggest and the last. You know, no matter yeah. when it is, right. it's the biggest. So for right. it to come on the finale is right. kind of interesting. So let's go over to that doll. Let's see what's happening. This is going to be wild, man. Just, it's, look at that spike, man. Okay. So I, it's intriguing as to, okay, what's going yep. on? What just did that? I mean, yep. it's a buyer. I understand that. But it's like, okay, yep. is there something out here that just did it? So. The dollar, folks, now this is going to get intriguing because the number to get inside is 93.000. And we're at 93, um, we're basically 935. We're, not, we're, we're 92, getting, 935. 92, right? yeah. So we're getting next to it. Um, you Can't know. get much closer. Six pennies, right? So yeah. Well, you get inside that then, yep. you know, what, what, what should happen here, and this is, it should be, you know, a decent bounce, you know, because this thing was so fast and furious and because the aspect of it just seems that when you come down so fast to go up so fast it's just a matter of when that you're going to get a very fast bounce sure you know and then guess what and then everyone's going to say the doll is going to go to the moon and then it gives it up again <laughs> that's how it goes you know? and then you'll be shorting it again yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. Uh, i was just checking out tesla so 318 Interesting. Uh, I'm sure as you see, you know, they were coming out with their Model 3 over the yes, weekend. Right. So they had some good revelations there. And that, you know, they'll have a $45,000 car that can travel, I think, 318 miles. Yeah, that's so, a big deal. Yeah, right. They, the only car that I think had over 300 miles was their Model S, which is like $100,000. Right. Uh, now, it might take them a year, year and a half to fulfill all those orders. To ramp up. And that's the, the question um, that will come in. And interesting, down like $7, right? 535 today, a percent and a half. Off of some pretty favorable press, I would say. Right. You know, the headlines right. were good with that announcement. And for it to be good with the expectations already so high, it was interesting that uh, yeah. they're pulling back. Oh, listen, they're going to change. The, they've, they've already changed the business. And I was on their website yesterday, just out of curiosity, right. looking at it because for forty-five thousand dollars, a car that can drive three hundred miles, man, and you never buy gas. Right. Sign me up for that. And, no, and, and sign me up for it in like a year, year and a half. That's perfect, actually, because I have a lease that's going to run out. Yeah. Right. You know, and maybe they get the kinks worked out too in the first cars right. that right. you know you might have. Um, but then I start to say, hold on, a year and a half. Where's technology going to be in a year and a half? There's yeah. got to be another car that's going to be on the market in like two years that's going to be close to these. Yeah, you know, the, I just the, think the, everybody else be, is coming be, right there'll online. There'll be competition, there's right. no doubt. Right. The, the guy is brilliant, though. Oh, no, the, I agree. No, I, was just I have my no own. idea how he can do so many things at the same time. And they're all big. They're all big, man. Yeah, you know what no. I mean? so, and then SpaceX, it, you know, it, just... Poof, yeah, his and, concept of thought is, <coughs> you know... Me. Yeah. And it's, pro it, it, it's probably, I mean, when you look at SpaceX, when you look at change in the automobile business industry. It's all about energy and propulsion, right? I mean, that's what it seems to be. Do you know what I mean? Uh, well, SpaceX is getting people that are, you know, how, how do you how do you get it up and you reuse the engines? I mean, that's how, sure. that's his deal on SpaceX, you know? Sure. So, yeah. I you, would just go, it's, it's trans, transformational ideas more yeah, than, and some time. of those are coming in energy right now, but he did PayPal and that was so transformational, yeah, right? right? And that, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. 
As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com educating investors catch basil chapman as he uses his chapman wave methodology to call the markets the tiger technicians hour next on tfnn <laughs> Welcome, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 85. You get the Nasdaq up 17. S&Ps are up 5. And you just heard about the Tiger Technicians Hour. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman. He's coming up next, and he's also uh, coming up uh, tomorrow night. August um, 2nd, man. Uh, it's here, baby. It is here. So, sector rotation. We've yeah. been talking about it, seeing what's going up, what's going down. Two series webinar tomorrow night from 5 till 6.30 is the start. Basil Chapman for all subscribers to the opening call. And he's going to be talking about can sector rotation buoy the market into next year, 2018. Man, it's going to be it, 2018. It should say, can sector rotation save the market into 2018? <laughs> <laughs> Save, save would, save would, save would imply like maybe it stays, right? Maybe, maybe it's gonna go up another thirty percent oh, in the no, next no, four I, months, yeah, right? No, right. I kid, I no, know. No, Believe no, me, listen, it's like, I know. Yeah. Believe me. Um, so you can sign up for a thirty-day free trial. Basil's got an awesome daily service, the opening call, lots of charts every morning in the Traders Corner. You can try it for thirty days, pay nothing, attend, get two workshops. attend both the workshops. Cool. They'll both be archived. Um, you should sign up for his newsletter anyway, so great time to check it out. You get both the webinars, sign up for it right now. You get access to all the archives, get used to his newsletter, be in there tomorrow, ask right. him some questions. He's great. So, And folks, if you can't make it live, do remember that it's, it's archived, it's on your page for 30 days. Look at it many times. And he's been want. working hard on this, man. I know he's been talking yeah. to you on the show a lot. Um, he's been putting this together really for like the last six, eight weeks, right. you know, talking about when to do it. And originally he was thinking maybe, you know, it was going to be can sector rotation, potentially carry it through the summer maybe. And as he was kind of evolving the course. And so it's, yeah. it's, it's, you know, as time flies, right 2018. The corner. So check that out right there. And boom, before we know it, tomorrow, five o'clock. I have to love it. And, you know, guess what? The, the Dow it's just shook off that little downdraft it had all right, right so guess the close guess what yeah is it gonna be 20 i'm I, maybe who's gonna guess twenty two thousand? put well, it out there it let's, doesn't take much look at that man put it out there yeah twenty two thousand who's hit, gonna be the first person to that, guess that, it let's that, go that'll be basil's even number that'd that'd be so that'd be so applicable anyway there you because go. He, basil's into those uh even numbers and bottom line is that uh, doesn't doesn't get much more even than twenty two thousand no. maybe twenty thousand and, and i think when i was interviewing him i think we're on a like a, a d or e on the okay. captain wave anyway okay so that's when the danger point comes anyway uh, i'm waiting for twenty five thousand that's much more even yeah <laughs> <laughs> you you and the guy that uh they got their guesses in the den 22,000 22 222 oh, that's, that's, that's right there right yeah it never goes down that's right that is, yeah you better be guessing higher yeah yeah no <laughs> doubt about that no <laughs> doubt about that so my little do my little dollar trade here yeah uh go ahead it's not looking bad that's uh, a so, so dollar at 92 870 yeah i'd love to know what spiked it yeah I mean, it's like we're okay, trying to find yeah it, 
there's, there's no new, there's no news I could find. Uh, at Let this me point. just. I'm just gonna jump over to Nadex and see yeah. where the euro in conjunction. So euro right now 118. I'm up two dollars. You are up two dollars. <laughs> hey, it's better than being down. It is better than being down. And in reality, I can get some juice here though. Right, and in reality, yeah. you're actually up like a little bit more than that yeah. because you know. And see, this is where it's great. These spreads, tight spreads, right? Yes. Bid offer. You know, right. you're not paying right. a lot for the bid offer. So no. really be aware when you're trading to our men. You know, Mike in Somerville watching those bid offer spreads sometimes right. getting in there because you know there's times there where we showed that 11 by 26. Just right. be aware to to make sure that this you're is not, a two tick spread. This is perfect. And, and These foreign are currency, which is pretty thing. intense. Yeah, literally right. nothing. Right. Yeah. It's, you know. And you get plenty of time. I think I get to three o'clock. You do. On those. That's a, yeah. yep. Three o'clock. So. I took note because I was like, man, that's a lot of time. It exactly. is a lot. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a lot yeah. of time. You know what does happen? Um, Eleven o'clock. Yeah, I get my trail off a little. Yeah, hey, you, not you, with this kind of action. No, this get, is this though. is I mean, good action. One yeah. one more spike like that are going to be at ninety three yeah. two forty, which is five hundred ticks on the Dow, which hey which would get me what I need. There you go. You stay right there, folks. Basil's coming right up, and of course, then we're going to go to the Thinker Swim headquarters. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, and of course, Andy's going to be uh, right after me. And Thanks you'll be back me. with Apple Earnings tonight. Apple Earnings. Oh, get over there and twenty two thousand two twenty two twenty dot point twenty two. Hello. <laughs> go get him, folks. There we go. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 22nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers. And non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.